Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first session of a, of my first ever DMing campaign, Payload, and it's I got I got I got Vendisha. Hello. I got Zenzen Blackfeather. Hi, that's me. And I got Eeltron. Hello. I'm the DM of the other campaign. Who the fuck is? <laughs> it just it just kind of sounded like you said who the it. No. Hey yo, hey yo, sussy. But my yeah. mic, it must have just lagged out for me. But all right, uh, set up the scene. Okay, so all three of you guys are in the tavern. You guys are all near each other to the point to where you guys can notice each other, and uh, you guys are all dead broke. You guys are all like in. The well, I just kind of stumbled Actually, in there. I have there. one swallowed. I have one um, a silver piece. You have no- so. you, you- okay, well, let me- okay, you guys are in the gutter, and you guys don't have enough to pay rent, and you guys need to do a mission so you guys so, can have- a, I have a, a question. Nice is five- is five gold pieces a lot? Five gold pieces no. in, um, this in Partis is- is close to nine. Well, I'm gonna okay. explain something. I just stumbled into this tavern, like, loudly. I think I would probably be noticed as this giant goliath with, like- Kind of, at, it's called cyborgs in their time, probably, just because of like all this weird steampunk stuff well, attached. Yeah, to me. obviously. I just, I never mentioned like, oh, you were like the center of attention. I just mentioned you guys are all near each other to the point where you guys can all like make eye contact. All right. You so, guys, everybody probably is looking at you because you are like this seven foot giant Goliath that has metal everywhere on his body. But yeah, everybody's dead in the gutter. Gutter. You guys don't have fifteen gold pieces to pay rent, and you guys Actually, don't I'm have. Gonna... You guys don't have near enough to buy food, so you guys need to go on a mission. Um, to get uh to get some gold pieces to be able to survive. I'm gonna randomly wander over to uh the uh, what is your name, Zenzin, and I'm just gonna look down at him. Okay. Okay, you can do that. Do you want to roll intimidation or something? Or no, I'm just really I'm just literally looking at him. Okay. <laughs> I will you? stare intensely. I was, gonna, I, was gonna, at that I, I just want to I just want to literally all I can do is just like squawk cuz cuz nobody's like a bird. speaking. Yeah. You don't need to respond. You can just ignore him. I could just yeah. Actually, I'm going to say I know saying? giant. I'm going to say I know giant. So in giant I'm going to say little bird. You <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> you don't know does Giant. Zenzen know? Does Zenzen, giant? Does Zenya, yeah, does Zenzen understand Giant? I don't know Giant. No, I know Arin, Common, Druidic, and Goblin. Okay. I only know Giant. Um. I don't see why Mendisha would get involved. So we're just not gonna do anything. Okay. Are you guys near. Uh... Are you guys near the bar, or are you guys just kind of sitting also, at tables? Also, sitting at the bar. Potato, I just want to say, you gave no background for the video. <laughs> okay, so let me go over... You can just quick... say the location we're in, and we're good. Yeah, I'll do a quick rundown of all the of like the characters. So, uh, Aeltron is a Goliath fighter, um, and is uh, high strength, low deck, so miserable to talk to, very not in, like... Very dumb, but incredibly, incredibly strong. Uh, Not Vindisha, as strong as no, I'm, I'm actually head technically head. stronger. I know, it was a joke. Vindisha is a funny. dwarf barbarian who is also very strong. Very, uh, um, hi, uh, very, and actually kind of a very cool person all around. They're pretty smart, they're pretty cool to talk to, and they are very stealthy. And they can take a hit or two before falling unconscious. Uh, Zensen Blackfeather is the ma is a male Kenku druid. Uh, they're they're not as strong, but they are very stealthy, and they are just they're they're an average person to talk to, and they are a very wise person. They're someone to rely on when you're looking back at history, and they're very smart, and they um they aren't the strongest, but they can still take a hit or two before falling unconscious. And they're in, and all three of them are in a tavern to a small city named Paratus, which is considered one of the better cities in the region that they're in, but it obviously is just like every other city. It's just, the people of Paratus are, are very, they like Paratus more than everything else, but, uh, 
So yeah, that's basically the story set. Anyways, you guys are still in the tavern. I'm still staring down at this little bird. How tall am I? Yeah, I was gonna say like, how tall are you? I'm uh, very tall. No, oh, no, no, you, yeah. you. Sorry, I'm, sorry. I'm, I misread I'm, that. I'm five eight. That. I'm five eight. Okay, so yeah, you're very tiny. You're like, you, you're like, if you're looking up at him, like your beak still wouldn't be able to like touch his chin. My what? Your beak, like your beak oh. is long, but it's like you're so short that your beak isn't long enough to even be able to like touch his chin. <laughs> so you guys are all like, you guys are all uh moving around, and you guys are just messing around at the bar, just so sitting there. And then you I actually, like, I would. Oh, sorry, never mind. No, 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 no. Continue because I, I would walk up to Laltron for okay. a reason that I just realized. Okay, uh, and That's I would ask. Vialtron? I said Loltron. It's yeah, Eltron. It's, it's, it's Eltron. Yeah, it's, it's okay, so I'd walk up, yeah, I'd walk up to Eltron uh, and just say, So what happened to you? I'm going to turn to him and be like, Strong, gnome, and giant. Mm, no. I have no idea what you just said, bud. Actually, yeah, I, I have no dwarf. idea what you just said. You don't understand common? Actually, I understand common, but I can't speak it. I'm going to say that. It's like, so what happened to me? I'm going to say tiny, tiny, I'm going to say strong gnome. Wait, do you only understand, do you only, can you only speak giant? I can only speak giant. Oh, no. Bro, no, no one can actually talk to people. Well, I Kenku, just need well, you can speak someone yeah. first. Yeah, you can speak to the Kenku. And you can speak to me, I just can't, you just can't hear my reply. So you, you overhear in the background after in that after talking to each other, you overhear a scuffle and you hear, uh, you hear two very masculine voices and they're arguing over farm crops. You hear one person say, "Oh my goodness, are you crazy? Potatoes are way better than tomatoes. Are you kidding me? Like actually." And then the other guy starts and then the other guy punches him and it's like, "Bro, are what are you on, dude? Tomatoes are hundreds of times better than tomatoes." And then you hear a chi- and then you hear- and then you hear two weapons start to clash, and you- what do you guys do? I'm gonna walk over to those two guys, and I'm going to grab them both by the back of the heads and knock their heads together. Well, they're both like- they're both like generally strong people. There- you have a- you have um, a knight well, and a paladin, and one's six- and one's six, uh, four. And the other one's six, five. Actually, no, actually, before I bang their heads, it's a dumb idea to just do that without context. I'm going to look yeah. down at them. I'm going to grab, try to grab their weapons and pull them out of their hands. How tall are you? I'm 7'9". What the heck? That actually, <laughs> let me see. Goliath Heights. I don't know if that's realistic. I thought you were 7' flat. I was like, oh, okay. If you're 7'9", you your head would probably hit the roof. Yep, they are between 7 and 8 feet tall. Oh my goodness. So, can we say 7' flat or 7'1"? I'm 7'9". Bruh. Then you wouldn't be able to fit in the tavern. Your head would hit the I'm kind of bending head. over a little bit. <laughs> okay, then. Then, um, you see, then, okay, so the two people look at you, and they're very, like, they, they, like, you can, you, you can't tell because their helmets are on, but you can, you can feel like, uh, their eyes are starting to widen, and then they drop their weapons, and one of them completely runs out of the tavern, and the other one's like, so what can I do for you? I'm going to walk. I'm going to like kind of bend down on my knees to get on his level. Weird flex. And I'm going to I'm going to pull out my empty my empty wallet and sh and just show him it's empty. So, he he doesn't get the hint immediately, so he's like, "Are you trying to flex on me or something?" But then after a moment, he's like, "Oh, you're dead broke." Uh, uh I'm going to nod. He uh so then he's kind of so then he he tries to lie. He's like, "Oh, but like I I don't I don't I don't have any money, so like I'm just I I wasted all my money no, on that I'm going to emphasize my wallet. <laughs> what you wait wait what like show uh, his face? What would you say on show? Can I roll insight? Yeah. Yeah, I got a 7. Okay. So so you emphasize the wallet. So he, so he, so he notices that he's screwed if he doesn't like, if he doesn't give you anything. So he gives you, 
he gives you seven gold pieces and 13 silver pieces. And he's like, is that good enough? Or am I going to have to continue to bribe you? I'm going to look in my wallet and then look back up to him, put my wallet away and just stare at him. You, uh, you look down at your wallet, but in the time that you look down, you hear footsteps and you can already see the, and you can already see the door start to open. I'm going to grab him by the scruff of the neck. And pull him no, back. No, uh, no, like he's already gone. Oh, he's already gone. Nice. Never mind. Well, never mind. I'm gonna stand back up. Yeah, what's your wingspan, by the way? Me? No, no. Uh, I don't know, but I'd assume I'm trouble. pretty wide. I'm not skinny. No, your wingspan, like your, like your. Like your if wings. I held out my arms, uh. That's when you said wingspan. I was like, I don't have wings. Oh, wings? No, wingspan just means. Like, no, I yeah, know. I realize that now. I realize that. So it's two. An oh, average man. Wingspan is about two inches more than his height. Well, it's your it's your Eight, it's one. about your it's about your height have uh for each arm. So No, it's about your height. No no no. If you held both out, it would be about your height, but for one arm it'd be about half if you held one So arm. I can reach what? I guess okay. So we'll just say like you have a four foot okay, you have like an eight foot wingspan. I guess, but I can only reach out one hand about four then. Okay, yeah. I'm not so, gonna yeah, try to pull gone. him. Like, like he's dumb. Like he's like, oh my gosh, I'm out of here. I'm gonna do yeah, like the kind of classic Michael Myers like head turn, like the confused kind of thing. Okay, so he's like, so do you? Okay, so uh, Zenzen and Vendisha, do you guys do anything? Or are you guys just kind of like, okay, that happened? Wait, so he just went up to this guy? Like, he just, yeah, he just went up to these. Yeah, he just he, went up to these two people who like were having a scuffle about fruits, and then he shoved his wallet in the paladin's face and was like, "Give me money now!" And without saying it, and the paladin gave him seven gold pieces and and twelve silver pieces, and then left. Yeah, and then just left because he knew that if he was to get into a fight with that Goliath, that that like just off of first glance, he was screwed. Okay, so Vendish is gonna like walk slash slide across the floor over to the area and be like, "Hey, yeah, hey, you shouldn't be odd. Just give him this man some money. And if you are, I mean, can I have some too?" I'm gonna take. I'm gonna look. At, I'm gonna look at him. I'm gonna feel him on the forehead. Grab my wallet. Pull out a single gold piece and hand it to him. Can I, can I also, can I, like, hear this, like, uh, Vendisha doing the same, and then I can, can I, like, walk over to the guy? Like, and then in, like, the exact imitate, same voice. Yeah, the, yeah, and the exact, exact same, same voice. voice say, like, hey, hey, can I have some, too? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at him, I'm gonna bend down to get on his level, kind of feel him on the forehead as well. Oh, I'm like Actually, wait, hold up, you can't speak. Oh, yeah, okay, no, no, you can. can, you can, you imitated him. I'm I'm yeah, gonna I'm look at him. I'm gonna look at him at the bird, and then kind of open his mouth a bit and put a gold coin sticking out of his mouth. So, <laughs> so when you guys, uh, so when you guys, um, so when you guys have that encounter, you hear the church bells roar, and you guys notice that oh, everybody's gonna go for mass now. So hands on my ears that. and on the floor. How loud are they? Uh, what do you mean? Like, are they deafening? Like the like the bells. The bells. No, it's just a regular. Church. Okay, yeah. Never mind. That's a good point. I'm not gonna bend what, over. What, my... um, I, see, Vendisha, I... Vendisha would immediately freeze. And you see, like three fourths of the ta of what? the tavern just like leave to get. To what what um church. what like kind of religion church is it? It's uh, it's uh. I'm now down to five gold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Christianity. Um... Jeebus. <laughs> Meaning, yeah, so, you see, so you see three fourths of the tavern leave, like just then it was quite obvious they're going to mass. Can I follow them? And, uh, yeah, that, I have. Well, I, well, I, yeah, you follow them, but like right before you're about to leave the door, you hear someone yell, Hey, I got a mission for anybody who's who's willing to help me. I, w I want to, I just want to like spin around. Vendisha can't, Vendisha cannot. So, Vin okay, so, like, Condition, when he heard the church bell, immediately froze until he heard that, and then, like, he's immediately back to, like, oh, well, <laughs> can I have that mission? No, I, I want to I wanna say, no, I want to walk, <laughs> I want to walk over, and I want to say, I want to say, hey, huh? In my voice? In, yes, in, in Vindisha's voice, I just want to say, 
Hey, I'm I'm willing to help you out with that. <laughs> and uh so um I'm gonna walk over uh, what do you uh uh Eltron, what do you do? So I'm gonna kinda like perk up my head, realize I'm too tall, actually hit my head against the roof, <laughs> bend back over, turn towards him, and like walk up to him and then hand him a gold coin. <laughs> so, 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 so he just ask for a mission or so he um so he so he sees it and he's and he says oh what a kind gesture but, gesture but like i'm not in need i'm actually looking to give away i'm gonna hand him another gold coin <laughs> so he's like uh so he's like uh do, are you gonna do anything with these like are you like okay or like i mean like these are yours like i don't need them do they have like a help them. wanted poster? Like no, he doesn't have a help. Well, okay, he does, but it's like, but it's like he, like you can tell that he hasn't hung him up yet. I'm gonna so point at like the help so wanted poster and then point at me and then hand him another gold coin. <laughs> oh, and then he, and then he gets the point. He's like, oh, you guys want to do my? I'm down to two. To like, what? I'm down to two gold coins. <laughs> oh wait, so do he's... I get it? Do I get a gold coin because Conda gave so, like, me one? Yeah, yeah, you do. So um, he's so he so he's like, oh, okay. So you guys want to help me out with like my little quest mission? Nod. Sure do. Okay. Yep. -er. So then he uh, so then he so then he gets up. He grabs the gold coins and he gives them all to Vendisha. And he is like, okay. So here's the plan. So what I need you guys to do is, I'm not much of a fighter, but you three look like you can put up a fight if you're going against a few orcs or something. I'm gonna casually pull out a gold coin and take a bite out of it and put it back in the wallet. What? <laughs> what? Okay. So he's just, so he's like confused, but he's just like that's but he's like it's not gonna let him, but it's not gonna stop him from his. It's not like chocolate. So, weird flex, but okay. So he's just so I, so he probably thinks you're like rich. He's like, oh my goodness, this guy is so rich. He's just <laughs> giving away gold coins. But anyways, <laughs> now you're down to one and a half gold coins. But anyways, now he, have? um, so he explains that he needs help, uh, he needs help escorting things. He, he needs help escorting, uh, some of his, basically escorting a payload all the way up to Isolan Keep. But obviously, Isol uh, the trip up to Isolan Keep, uh, faces him with a lot of problems, like, um, like war and then like other, and like people who want to kill him and steal the goods, so. He's at so he's been begging people for months to help him out with this mission, and he says that the that the estimated travel time to get to Aqua Harbor is around two or three months, and he's saying what? that he's so he's saying that he wants help and he'll give you. Can ask like, him about his like personal life and stuff like that. Like, what does he do for a living? What does he do stuff. for a living? He is a and like other, well, other things like that. He is um he's a trader and he he's a trader uh, who has a merchant he's a trader past. Jail? So he used to be a merchant, and he's a trader from Jarlsgrad, and he's been, and but um recently in recent times you've uh you didn't know this, but since he's been all over the since he's been all over the region, he knows this. The entire area of like a lot of like a lot of wild people, like people that a lot of people would consider dirty and wild, like orcs and stuff from the forest, have randomly became more and more aggressive, and he knows that if he's trying to get from. If he's trying to get from Paratun, or sorry, well, his payload's in Jarlsgrad. If he's trying to get from Jarlsgrad all the way up to Aqua Harbor, there is a very low chance that he's going to be able to get through without getting <laughs> murdered by orcs or goblins or whatever that forest has to offer. And by the way, he's talking about the northern forest, not the forest of the secluded blade. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's a very, that's not a very dense forest. That's like... Yeah, it's just like... It's just, um, so he's been, so, that's something to write down, so that's a note, but anyways, he's been, um, so he's been begging people for months to help him, and since you guys are in the gutter, and he doesn't know that, but since you guys are in the gutter, you probably would accept, but I'm gonna let, I'm gonna leave that up to you. Uh, yeah. He's all, he's wait, all, wait, so, he's, he, so he's gonna say, are you saying I'll have the opportunity to, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna say, are you saying I have the opportunity to kill orcs? Yes. I will you have the opportunity to, to kill orcs. I will immediately be like, yes, please, I need this job. Okay. Oh yeah, because <laughs> so so he's so he's very happy with that. So then he asks Zenzen, "Are you in or are you?" I, I want to say I want to say in Vindicia's voice or Vindicta, 
How do you say it? Vindisha. Vindisha. Um, I want to say, how much does it pay? I was waiting for that. So he, uh, so he saying that if um. Hey, hold up! How do you say that? In in Vindisha's voice, I just said that. Yeah, but did he, he say how much to pay? Yeah, he's saying so. he's asking how much does it pay, and um, he's saying that he'll pay three hundred gold piece, or he'll he'll pay three hundred gold pieces that can be separated between you guys. But if that's not if that's not something you guys like, he'll give you guys he can get you guys a, like a nice plot in Jarlsgrad. I'm just gonna stare at him. I'll 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 accept it. That's pretty. So pretty. when he mentions when he mentions a a nice plot in Jarlsgrad, um. Vindisha is gonna like space off for a couple seconds and then. Oh, like... at the mention of Yarl's grad, I'm gonna. As soon as he said a nice plot in Yarl's grab, I'm gonna shake my head frantically. Like in like a like in a like a happy manner or like no, a, no. like a please God no 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 no. So then he's gonna be like, then I can give, then I can offer a hundred gold pieces. Is that okay with you? Yes, and then I'm gonna take another bite of the gold coin and chew it and swallow. Okay. Dude probably thinks you're like a millionaire, just like so, eating gold. Yeah. So he's like, okay, I'm not sure why you need a, I'm not sure why you need a hundred gold pieces, but whatever. Okay. So um, uh, I'll be able to get you guys on some mounts, and then we'll be, and then we'll be on our way. Uh, just a, a fair warning uh, on the trip from uh Para to. God, I can't speak. But on the trip from Paratune to Yarosgrad, the force of the secluded blade is, um. It's also it's not as bad as the northern as the northern city, but it's also been like noticing people have been noticing ma- many aggressive like many aggressive beings and like humanoid creatures that have been coming out of that place. I'm not aggressive. So, I mean, I'm guys, tuning this out. Yeah, so you guys are just like so. Oh I'm gonna guess that you guys are all like cool, whatever. And then yeah, he leads you. So he takes you guys out of the tavern and he leads you guys to your mounts. Are they regular horses or like are they? War they're horses? just yeah, they're regular horses. Well, well okay, uh, actually, okay, I messed that up. So, it's like um, so you are in like um, man, I don't I don't know what I call it, but it's like, so it's like a carriage, but the back part is just like a storage unit. It's just like, like a wagon. Yeah, a wagon. Sorry, yeah, it's like a wagon, and it's carried by uh, and it's uh, and it's led by the two. Uh, I mean, by one horse. And he's like, this this should be enough to hold all four of you guys, right? And then he looks back at the Goliath, and he's like, and then he's like, and then he like, he's like, uh, uh, and then he just kind of ignores that. And he's like, okay, you guys can get in the wagon. Hop in the wagon. So you guys hop in the wagon. Okay. Yep. I'm, a, I'm, a I'm gonna get in. The, I'm gonna like slowly get in the wagon. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm gonna stay on watch. Um, in the oh, wagon. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm I want. Okay. So he, something. so he says, uh, so he gets on his horse, on his mount. He has a war horse because he's a lot well, because he's very wealthy. So he says, "I'll see you." I, okay, well, he has a war horse, but it's not like a war horse. It's just like a fast horse. But he said, but he says, "Okay, I'll see you guys in Yarrow's Grad. Uh, I'll meet you guys at the, um, I'll meet you guys at the entry area, and then you guys, and then he takes off. Do you guys want to take off with him, or do you guys want to like sleep for the night?" Uh, what time? No, is it? I would really want to go now. Yeah, it's uh, it's like it's it's like it's like uh, sun setting. I but, want to okay. go now. Okay, you can, want to is, go now? Is do we need like two or three people to drive, or can somebody just like be up front? Yeah, one person can be up front. Okay. So, so how long is the trip to Yarlsgrad? The trip to Yarlsgrad that would be around a week, but uh, ten, oh uh but but yeah, let's just say. Wait, what's okay, the so... scale? <laughs> how big is a mile on this map? Oh my bad, I messed up. <laughs> I meant I was thinking Yarrow's grad to Aquaville. That's like a that's like maybe a day or two. I, I if you're lucky and you have no encounters, like you run into nothing sus suspicious, sussy Suspect. among us. Yeah, but Suspect. if you run into nothing that like that if you run into nothing that like stops you up, you'll be there in like seventeen hours. If you run into no Amugasai. But anyway, four of Amugas, if you, you guys take off. Where? Yeah. So I you wanna, got, I want to stay in the back and just kind of like yeah. So you guys immediately the notice the horse is like the horse is like slow and you guys are like, oh, bro, what's the horse doing so slow? And then you look back and you see the the seven nine <laughs> and you're like, oh yeah, my bad. <laughs> so you guys hear so you guys 
so it's night, and you guys are... Uh... Wait, is the reason we're going so... This going to take two days because of my no, Ultron? No, no, yeah, yeah. The reason it's going to take two days is because of your <laughs> Ultron. If it wasn't two days, I mean, if Ultron wasn't there and it was just like a regular fighter, it would be maybe a few hours. <laughs> but, um, you guys, so you guys hear... So you guys don't hear anything, and then you uh, stop by a little valley area, and you're like, oh, this is this is nice, and then you move through a forest, and then you you see torches, and you're like, uh oh. So you see torches, and uh, perception. Yeah. No perception. Oh yeah, can I do that too? Bro, how much you get? I got a nineteen. And what do I you hear? Nineteen. Hold what on. Did, what What did you guys get? Uh, Vindisha really wants to kill some orcs. Ooh, twelve. You got a 12? Okay, okay so, so I hear something. Let me roll perception. No, you guys don't hear anything. You guys just see... Um, five. <laughs> five. Five. Okay, so Eoltron just sees the torches, and he's like... And he shrugs it off. He's like, mm, whatever. Maybe it's just showing us the way to your Earl's um, You gotta say that in the most monotone voice ooh, possible. Ooh, pretty, yes. pretty fire. <laughs> so Zenzin... Zenzin notices that these torches are not regular torches. They're they're kind of they're kind of made pretty crudely. He doesn't think much of it, but he does notice that this could lead into something dangerous. And would he, I, would and he I recognize of, this? You wouldn't recognize this. Okay. But like you notice that they're made pretty crudely, and you and you're like and you're like okay, uh, and you kind of are like more wa on watch now. Like you're more like. Oh no! I'm than sleeping. Than Oh, you're sleeping? Oh, okay. Then never mind. I totally you're, forgot about that. Your entire thing, but uh, but Vendisha is on. You see nineteen. You immediately note, but you immediately, you immediately notice how crudely the torches are built, and you get a flashback deck back to Faram, or sorry, back to Loxoy, and you and you remember a lesson that you were taught, and it was if you ever see torches that were built like this, that means that they are aggressive. That means that they were built by an aggressive goblin or orc, and you should be very, and you should watch out. I'm going to immediately say, stop the wagon. I'm going to scream, stop the wagon. I'm going to kind of jump mid, like, out of, like, like, what in the world, and kind of hit my head against the wagon in top. The world. Yeah, let me quickly finish your thing. So you, uh, so you remember that, and then you, and then your eyesight just, like, it randomly gets better, and you notice something up ahead. And it looks like you see, th you see, it looks like you see figures up ahead. So you say, stop the wagon, and everybody gets awoken. Alright. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna now. jump out and start running towards the figures. It's around 30 feet ahead of you. What's your walking distance? 30 feet. 25 no, 20. feet, sorry. It's, 20. it's 25, yeah. So you get up, it's around 5 feet ahead of you. You see a dead horse, and you, you see a dead horse, and you can obviously hear rustling in the oh. bushes. Uh, what do you, what, uh, what, uh, Eoltron and Zenzen, what do you guys do? I'm gonna um, walk over to so the we, dead horse and kind well, of pick it up. We don't know, we well, don't okay, know what's, what's happening. Your, we don't, Eoltron, we just heard, your... we just oh. heard, um, we just heard him say stop the wagon and then just, like, jump up. So, I'm Eoltron, gonna, you travel with Vendisha. I'm gonna follow after him, see the dead like, horse, run up to him, kind of pick it up, kind of, like, look at it, examine it. Yeah, can I, like, go... Can I okay. follow? Vendisha? Can I look around the forest? So, uh, you can you can look around. Roll perception. Yeah, minus one. Nine. Perception, can I throw both my hand axes nine? into the bush? So, so uh, what? After he rolls perception, can I roll both my hand axes? I mean, can I throw both my hand hand axes into the bush? Yes, he got a nine, and he doesn't really notice anything that Vendisha didn't, and he hears the rustling in the bushes, and he kind of. Gets put on edge. Zensen, what are you gonna do before he throws his hand? Um, can I? Direction? Can I like? Can I like? Cause I heard, I heard him say like, "Stop the wagon" and like run off ahead. Can I like follow? You're gonna follow them, so you're just gonna kind of leave your horse and your payload to oh, die. Oh no, that's right. Oh yeah, no. That's all your ration is to make it to your Earl's grad. Yeah, that's I'm like... gonna stay. I'm gonna get up and like get my weapons ready and like look up ahead. Up yes, you are. Well, what do you want? At um. And and I'm gonna pull so out my gray yeah. axe, which I'm kind of like imagining that on my whole like outside thing, the gray axe has like a holster within like on my back. Like my back has a couple steampunk things, and there's like this ridge in my back that's built in with the axe in it. Okay. So, um, so 
Do you throw your hand axes now? Yes. So okay. I got uh, an eight. You got an eight, so you missed uh, terror. Roll perception again. Can you guys roll perception again? Yeah. Roll perception again? I got oh, a dirty no, no, I just want Vindisha too. I just oh, want a dirty 20. You got a dirty 20? Uh, what What did you roll previously? Uh, like 19. Okay, you rolled a 19 plus one? Okay. So you... So you, as soon as you throw the axes, you immediately hear you immediately hear the noise of an orc getting startled, and then you see, and then you see two figures start running on over to your to your rations payload. Um, what do you do? I'm gonna bolt after well, no, them. No, you don't. You don't see that. Vindisha oh. does. Can I just me? Do walk? I, can I just kind of no, walk? Can, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna scream to. Can I walk? I'm scream to. Um. Whatever. Eoltron. I'm right They're next to you. Towards... Okay, I'm gonna tell Eoltron. They're running towards the the wagon, and then I'm gonna stay there. Would I notice this now? That he he when, kind of when pointed he tells out. You, you when you tell when he tells you, you look closer and you start seeing the two figures running straight at the field. I'm gonna bolt after them. Well, okay, yeah. So you aren't there Both yet. Roll athletics. You aren't there yet. Okay, Zenzin's turn. What do you do? So you don't. So you didn't hear any of it, but you can now hear extreme rustling in the bushes, and now you're very on edge. Can I? Because I was like looking at um, I was looking. Is it like? So can I look like out the front near where? Because I was I was looking at. Oh, you're um, still in the wagon. Yeah, I was still. I I said I was gonna get my stuff ready and oh, like. Okay. So Just stay you, on guard. So you, like, peek out the wagon now? Mm-hmm. Okay. So as soon as you peek out the wagon, you see from the bushes a giant, uh, you see a giant hand axe get thrown straight at the wheel of your payload, and it and it hits it directly, and you can tell that that is, that, that does extreme damage to it. So you, um, and then you see another, and then you start seeing, like, and then you start seeing a little glimpse of a fire getting lit. Oh crap! <laughs> um, can I? Oh, what what weapons do I even have? I have. Make sure, oh, yeah, make sure you guys equip your weapons. I, by the way, can I? Um, yeah, do that. Um, what weapons? I have my weapons equipped. I I always equip my weapons. All I have is a spear. You have a spear, so are you and I also type, are you I also gonna... have magic. I could. Can I cast poison spray? Uh, how much? How much range does it have? How much range is uh, Oh, have? it's 10 feet. Okay, so you can cast it. They're 15 feet ahead of you, but Poison Spray would, like, set a clear boundary between them. So I'm gonna... Poison Spray is linger, right? It would linger. Uh, duration instantaneous. That's all it says. Oh, so, okay. So you can cast it, but it would do nothing, and it wouldn't last. So it would kind of just be a waste. What about, uh, what's... It's a cantrip, so... Yeah. But you do oh, have yeah. a... I have thorn yeah. whip. You create a long vine like whip covered in thorns that lashes out at your command toward a creature. That's thirty foot range. You can you can throw it at them. Okay. So now I need a Okay, now I need um are you gonna try to do that? Yeah, I'm gonna try and do that. Roll initiative. Oh goodness. I have plus four on initiative though. Nat twenty. Okay, you got a nat twenty. Let me roll initiative. Should I roll initiative? Uh, well, you guys aren't in the encounter yet. Well, I'm running at them. I'm chasing them. Yeah, but, like, next turn you'd roll initiative, because you're not in it. Okay, so you- so you go first. Uh, so you're- Me? so you're doing the thorn whip? Yep. Okay, roll to hit. 21. 21? Okay, that hits. Alright. Um, roll to- roll, roll for damage. Six. Wait, can I roll intelligence? What? Can I roll an intelligence check to see if the goblin that, that got startled is the one that ran to the wagon? Yeah. Okay. It was an orc, by the way, not a goblin. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I got a six. Okay, so you so you can't... So you think, and you think, and you think, and you're like... And you are just like, okay, screw it. They're probably just the ones that ran to the wagon. I mean, like, there wouldn't be a huge orc group gathering in this forest, right? So... Uh, so, oh, no. now the, um, oh, no. so now the goblins are going to attack you. Uh, so, oh, you hit, and then you hit, uh, okay, sorry, I forgot to say. So, you, uh, so you can obviously tell that you hit one of them by a giant, by, like, a huge scream in agony, and, um, and then, like, are you gonna try to pull it towards you, or are you just gonna, like, let the Yeah, can I, can I pull it towards me? Yeah, so you hear, so you pull it towards you, and you, 
you it you like feel resisting, but like uh, but you can tell that it's very weak, and you and you eventually pull it out. And you see a very like it, like you see a very injured orc. And would you or are you gonna try to remove the thorn whip to try to attack again next turn? Uh, yes. Okay, so you do that, and then it immediately pops up like nothing happened, and then it. Like you can immediate it immediately pops up like nothing happened, and then it tries to, and then it attempts to attack you. <sighs> okay. Yep. Uh, have I caught up to that next or like? Uh, yeah, but like once your turn is so. Once your armor class. Um, uh, uh, seventeen. Okay, so it tries to hit you. But you immediately counter it, and then, like, their their club goes flying off, and they get, like, scared, and they try to, like, run away. The next this, goblin is a, gonna attempt to attack you. This is, like, really cool. I could see- I could see this. Like, he just shoots a big Wait, thorn whip and what? hits something. He pulls it, and they, like, tries to hit it. I literally just block and just, like, throw it. So the next goblin- so the next goblin attempts to shoot you with the flaming arrow, and- the goblin, uh, the goblin, uh, is way too confident, and then it lets go of the arrow too early, and it sets the bush on fire, and it starts running out of the bush <laughs> to the path. Nice. Wait. Real smart. Are these yeah. goblins or orcs? These are, sorry, orcs, yeah, sorry, orcs. Uh, so now it's the Eltron's turn. The Eltron, your turn. So you hit their roll initiative. So you're like, you're there. Caught it? Con dead. I think it's internet died. Ah, oh, hello, I'm oh. back. Okay, oh, okay, so it's your turn. Uh, uh, you're there, so now roll initiative. Oh, no, my internet. No. Twelve. You got a twelve. Okay, so yeah, you're in the fight. Let me put it in general. Well, can I hit him now that I've yeah, run up can. to him? All right, I'm gonna swing my great axe down on him. Okay. Go ahead. Fifteen. Okay, fifteen. You hit. Roll damage. Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh so that, that's zero, right. it's max damage. Yes, yeah, max yeah, damage. That's maximum damage. So you swing it down on this orc, and how do you want to do this? Uh, am I killing him? Yeah, he, yeah. You that's what that means. I want to. I want to bring it down on him. Hit him right in the skull. And just kind of viciously smack him over and over with the great axe. Hmm? What? Okay. What? That's it? I... Okay, so... So, that happens, and uh, now it's Vendish's turn. Okay, can I go get my hand axes from the bush? Yeah, you can. Okay. I walk into the bush. You walk into the bush, you immediately hear rustling. Maybe it's because he went in the bush. Okay, do I see my hand axes? You see your hand axes. Do you pick them up? Yes. Roll initiative. <laughs> oh, come on! Ten! What, what'd you get? Okay, you got a ten. <laughs> By the way, that's your thing. Let me roll initiative. I got a four. Okay, so. Oh, I'm sorry. And then we roll the next one. <laughs> the next one? There were two. He said that. I know, that's a joke. The Very next funny. One the there... next one. I don't know why that just that reminds me of the ABCs with undergrowth. Wait one second, I'm just putting the order in chat. Mm -hmm. By the way, I haven't put putting, great I keep yet. putting goblin. I need to remember to put orc. Oh, wait, can I rage? Oh, wait, no, that's not my turn yet. Oh, wait, you're a barbarian? Yeah. Oh. Didn't realize that. Okay, so you're, uh, okay, so you mm -hmm. immediately see two, and one attempts to attack you with a club. All right. So let me, it hits you. Nice. I hate you. Bro. You specifically. 
I actually think that's cool. My character, that that was a very cool. Okay, it does two damage. Okay. The next one attempts to attack you. All right. Wait, don't, wait, cold. what? There's three? It, or is... There's, there's, hits? Yeah. there's three, but he only notices two so far. Does it hit? It uh so it uh, so it hits you okay so it hits you and you think that it penetrated your armor but you see the goblin's club fall back and you see that it almost dropped it and you and then you notice your armor is completely fine so all right your turn my turn what armor do you have all what right so first I'm gonna rage okay so you're gonna go into rage uh, no. and then I'm going to attack the 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 one that. Hit me. I'm gonna attack the one that hit me. Yep. With both my hand axes. Okay. Roll. Roll hit. Oh my gosh! What'd I, you get? Okay, one misses. <laughs> and okay, I got dirty twenty on the other one. Well, okay. Well, tell me what you got. It was ten one. and twenty. Okay, so the ten barely hits its hand. Oh. And then the twenty hits it wherever you want it to hit. Right, straight, like in the in the in the, the like, rib cage. Yeah, chest. Oh, in the rib cage. Okay, in the rib cage. So, roll damage. In the or, chest, rib cage. Oh, oh, rib cage. So nine damage. Okay, so nine damage. Okay, roll strength on the hand. One. On the hand. All right. Like a strength save or a strength check. Like a like a strength check. All right. Nineteen. You got a nineteen. You chop its hand off like it's nothing. Oh my goodness. All right. Does it take any damage? Yeah, it takes nine. Damage. Oh no, no, no! It it just. Nah. It takes nine damage, and now it's taking bleed damage. So, and then the one in the and then. Uh, and then the one in the rib cage lodges in there, and it, do you pull it out or not? Uh, yeah, I pull it out. Okay, because you I, pull that... it out, and you see the and you see the and you see the orc like kind of tremble, but you like it's back on its feet, and then and, and then the next orc attempts to attack you. All right. The next orc, the oh orc, is it the crit? Next orc, no, the, okay. no, it doesn't crit. The next orc completely fails. You turn over and you see it. And it has a spiked club, and it looks very menacing. It hits you, and it's and it's thing, and it's um, and its club goes literally flying back, and it like <laughs> goes straight out of its hands into the bush, and it runs into the bush, and you hear rustling, and it obviously is attempting to find that. Wait, I'm confused. Are back. there three, four, or two? There's three. There's three. So now it's Goblin uh, two again. Okay. So Goblin. So are we fighting turn. Goblin one? Me and you guys the... are. You guys are fighting your own. So now it's uh. So. Now it's your guys' encounter. I'm saying in total. So are there three on Griffin and like two on us, or? Yeah, three on Griffin, two on a, two on so you. So five total, five total. Yeah. So um, uh, you're so it's back to your guys' encounter. Zensen, what are you gonna do? Oh yeah, right. my bad. Okay, and also one of the goblins are dead. Which one? Uh, goblin two. So uh, we'll which was that one? It's the it's the one. It, they both go after you, so it doesn't matter. It's the one that the Ultron like just kept smacking with its. Ash. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Um, can I try and now that so I'm guessing I pulled this orc within my oh yeah because he can yeah. I use poison spray on him? You can yeah you use poison spray on. Him. Uh, it's a con save of thirteen DC. Okay. Do you have to do you have to roll to hit or just no, uh, no they you, they roll a constitution saving throw. Save. Okay. okay, so you hit. Do you want to lock dice rolling? Yeah, probably. Uh, you so you hit and um, and you start hearing the so you wait. Start I gotta hearing, I gotta roll damage. Yeah, roll damage. Roll damage. I'm sorry. Eight. Eight. Okay. So you start hearing the goblin uh, like start coughing and then like it's coughing like profusely and then you st- and then you see the goblin like you see like swell marks on it and then you see giant like you see giant bruise marks on it and it starts screaming in agony. And, oh my goodness! And then it just like, and then it uh, it's it reaches out like it's it's like saving grace, and then it goes limp and it dies. <laughs> that I didn't expect poison spray to do that. What? <laughs> it died. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, you guys have finished your encounter, so uh, do you guys hear the? Do you guys want to continue defending the payload or not? Yeah, I want to. Want to get back on the payload. <laughs> Okay, so you guys get back on the phone. Uh, back to back to Van Dishes. So, uh, one of the goblins attempts to attack you again. Orcs. Where's here? Yeah, orcs. And it attacks you, and then it. 
It got worse than the one that flew back. Yeah, and it hits, and then it, and then it tries to attack you, and then its armor obviously just like, it tries to hit you, and the club just snaps in half, like, and it just oh. like, and it just like looks at its club in horror. And Wait, it's which like, one is oh this? The, my the one goodness. with the spiked club or no? No, this is not the one with the spiked club. It just looks at its club like, oh my goodness, and then it just like, and then it takes a tree branch and throws it at you, but it bounces off your arm. <laughs> All right. So then the next goblin comes to attack you, and the and that goblin like tries to jump on you, and then like attack you, but it fails to jump, and it just like and it t- gets a terrible like, it gets a terrible like move, and it just like trips and falls on the ground, like and then it's in prone position. So the oh, next okay. goblin with the spiked club, it goes back out wait, ready wait, for wait, war. What? What? Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, your turn though. I get to it's like, jeez, bro. Okay, so I'm gonna attack. His turn. I'm gonna attack the one that like is like that I hit with like both my uh, hand axes before with mm-hmm. one of my hand axes first to see. Mm-hmm. Um, and I got an 18. Okay. I'm that assuming hits. that hits. Yeah, that hits. Right, so that's 10 more damage. That's 10 damage. You so how do you want to do this? Oh right. my goodness. Um. Can Wait, I like the guy with the spike club or no? What? In the same spot no, that no. like I hit it before with the hand axe, can I like hit it in the same spot, but like it goes all the way through his body? Through his ribcage? So yeah, it so yeah, it goes directly through his ribcage and you can like hear his spinal cord like snap. Oh, and then it just like goodness. and then it and then it's just like it screams and then it dies. I hate all right, this. And then I'm gonna attack the one that's prone with my other hand axe. Okay. Hold the hit. 22. 22. So that's like, was it a, was it a dirty? Or... That was a dirty. I had plus six okay. to hit. Okay. Oh my goodness. Plus six? Okay. Okay, but, um, that's 12 damage. Imagine having OP characters. Oh, wait, that damage. was javelin damage, but it's so the same. Um, damage, plus two so. for raging. Were you adding that? Yeah, I already added that. Oh, okay. I didn't, I should have okay, checked so, the game log. So 12 damage? And, yeah. Um, you hit it with your javelin or your other axe? My other hand axe, yeah. Okay. But it's the same damage, so it. Um, so where are you gonna hit it? Because you got a dirty twenty. Where do you want to hit it? It's in um, prone position, and it's, and its back is facing you. Its back is facing me. Oh, can I hit it in the spine? Yeah. Okay. So you hit it in the spine, and you and you can hear a bone crack, and it's like, oh my god, and like you can hear the you can hear the orc like start screaming slurs, and it's in um, in its language, and it's just like, and it's and it's like crying on the ground and it's in like it and it's in obvious pain do you pick your hand do you pick your hand axe up or not uh yeah i pick my hand i keep i put my hand axe out okay okay so ne- so then the spiked so then the uh the goblin or the arc with the spiked club it runs straight at you um with its uh, spiked club and then it sees both of uh his brethren just like it like trembling on the ground and it and it gets like so scared, so it gets disadvantaged. Okay. <laughs> it's frightened. Okay. And so it hits you. So it hits you, and then one of the spikes crack on your armor, and then it flies back into the bush. Perfect. But it's like, but it's like startled by you, so like you get a, so you get like a sneak, so you get like a, a an opportunity attack. You get an opportunity attack. Oh, okay. Um, I got a sixteen. Okay, that hits. All right. Uh, uh, so it hits like his seven damage. Okay, so it hits like um the like the major part of his arm. What's that card? What's that called? The part that bicep. I... Yeah, sure. Um, oh, no, that's a tri. Wait, is... yeah, that's your tri- tricep. Yeah, that's your tricep. It's the tricep. And wait, how much damage did you do? Um, I... it was one plus four, which is seven. Which is the lowest you possible damage. <laughs> so, you did, so you hit it straight. Lowest possible huge, rage damage. So you hit yeah. it directly in the tricep, and it like lodges into his tricep. He screams, but he doesn't like the other. But it's not like blood curdling like the other two. Right. And it's like, and it's like, pretty, oh. and it's pretty mad about it. Okay. And so, okay, so yeah, a little gets, bit mad. Yeah, bit like bit. he's like, like he's like really mad about it. He's like, like genuinely. And then he runs back into the bush with your axe. What? I can't pull it out? Well, I'm gonna guess... Okay, fine. You pull it out. 
So, I'm gonna give Yiltron and Zen Zen a chance to do whatever they want. Are you guys just gonna stick in the pay payload? Do we hear this, or do we... You probably can hear the blood-curdling screams, yeah. <laughs> that are we... only, like, 30 feet in front of you. Can, can I go over there and, like, tell uh, who Yiltron to, like, stay and guard the payload? I am on the payload. Do you know how yeah, angry know. the bishop would get stay. if you killed an orc? Well, it, like, like, if, like, you stole her kill. I mean, his kill. I don't. Vindisha? But, uh, okay, so you kill you. so you run up roll initiative. Alrighty. Like Vindisha would actually attack you. Fourteen. You fourteen. Okay. So Bruh. Bruh. who do you want to attack? What do you want to attack? Um no. so what do I see? So you don't see any okay, so you like are right next to Mendisha and you see the one that's just on the ground yelling slurs and you can rustling in the and then you see rustling in the bush next to you. Oh wait, so can I can I say that I have this like <laughs> massive smile on my face is just like splattered in blood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kara in D and D though. Um can I cast poison spray? <laughs> yeah, you can. It's a con save 13. Okay, so that hits both of them. That, like, damages both of them. How much damage? Um, full damage, 12. Full damage. Bruh. So, okay, so the one in front you. of you goes from screaming slurs to coughing and just, like, it starts no. coughing up blood, and then it's, like, you can tell it's still alive, but <gasps> yes! it, is on, it is on its last limb. Like, it is, like... If it like you could D four D four sneeze damage and it's like are you are you saying it's on one HP? Back. It's literally yeah, it's literally on one HP. The okay. one in the bush, you hear like rustling and you hear like a thud on the ground. No, and then you see it roll back and then you see it roll out and it's just like sitting there and it's like, please end me. Yes, they're both still alive. Let's go. Yeah, it's just can like I, sitting. It's clearly, just like laying there I, on the ground, just looking I, so distraught. Like, can I clearly me. see that Vendisha's happy that they're still alive? You probably can. Yeah. Can I just like back up after that? Yeah. <laughs> just I'm like not gonna give, my I'm work not gonna here give, is done. Yeah. So, are you gonna roll to hit? It's my Vendisha? turn. It's your turn here. The okay, other two yeah. are yeah. The other two are in prone position. Like they can't do anything. I'll attack each of them with one hand axe. Okay. Imagine he misses. Okay, twenty three for the first one. Okay, so the first one's automatically dead. Where do you want to? And uh, twenty four for wanna, the other one. <laughs> how do you want to do this for both of them? Uh, can I chop both their heads off? Oh my okay, goodness! Sure. I was thinking you were gonna do that too. I I was like like I jump up and like because I'm a dwarf. I'm pretty tiny. I jump up and like. Slam down with both hand axes cutting off their head. Yep. And you see the heads roll around and Zenzen's immediately like, bruh, what is that? <laughs> bruh. Okay, so, so I'm not happened, even like I'm not even scared. I'm just like, bruh. Well that happened. Uh Eeltron and Zenzen, you guys earn you guys both earn a hundred XP and then Vendisha you get three times XP. Oh I love up. Bro, you should split the XP. You guys would, would you guys rather me split? No. XP? Yes, I would. Well, that's just that's just because then you. Well, okay. Well, yeah. So <laughs> I think it would be better to okay, split. So it. Are you now I'm, bro? Okay. So you guys, so he levels up. You guys both get a hundred XP. So you guys are now both. So now all you guys are back on the payload. What do you do when your horse encounters that dead horse horse carcass? Like, do you inspect it or anything, or do you just yeah? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick up the horse and drop no. it wait, in our no. storage. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Let oh, them inspect no. it first. Let it, them no. inspect it first. Yeah. They can inspect it on the wagon. Roll investigation. Yeah, I as well. Yeah, both of you guys yeah. roll investigation. Fourteen. Okay, you got a fourteen. What did twenty-three? A Darn it, you're so Dirty. bad at life. Oh my god. That was a 19 20. natural. Okay, if that stats? was a natural 20, if that was a natural 20, this campaign would be, I mean, this second would be going on. It's like 13 minutes. But okay, so 14. Okay, so, so Zenzin, you inspect it, and you're immediately just like, oh my goodness. You see, you see three, okay, so you see it got beaten to death with a club, and then you see two, and then you see two axe marks. 
and then you see, uh, and then you see, like, multiple arrows sticking out of his body, and you immediately know that this is, like, some aggressive orc or goblins that were attacking it. And since you just got encountered by five goblins, you, is, you suspect, orcs. or yeah, orcs, you is suspect it was, like, an orc. Maybe it was, like, a small, like, tribe of orcs that maybe could have just killed them all. <laughs> yeah, and then... So for Mr. 19 over here, Vindisha, you you look and you see exactly the same thing Zensen does, but you are like, but you see more. You look and you can see you can tell that you can tell that this was that this was your like this was your like mission dealer's horse and you immediately like you can tell it was the war horse he were, he he rode on and you can and it smells like him and he and uh, you see all the stuff, and then you see like, onion, and then you see on the other side of him, you see the saddle all ripped up, and then you see just a giant, and then you just see a, an axe, just or sorry, you see a longsword sitting right there, and you suspect that it was probably the mission dealer's longsword, but you're not a hundred percent sure. Would, would, are you gonna pick it up? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna pick it up. Potato, I have a question. Yes, potato, I have a question. Have you ever played the Lost Mine of Fandelver? No, I've never. Indeed, you haven't. Nope. Okay. So, anyways, so you, uh, so what do you guys do now? Because like, so you uh, are you guys okay? Well, well, Ultron picked it up. No, no, no. What I'm gonna do? Well, well, actually, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put it into the wagon. I'm gonna put it into the wagon. Okay. So he shoves it into the wagon. Why? So the Why horse do stuff? this to me? Why? Oh, I, 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 I just read all of Rage. It's a lot better there. You get. Resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. That's crazy. Okay. Anyways. You get resistance. Um, to, you get, get resistance to everything. So what do you guys do now? Do you guys want to try to inspect it? Because you guys can tell this was your this was like your missionary's horse. So like, if you don't save this, you're not getting the pay, and you're not gonna meet him in Yarrowsgrad. Is it dead? Yeah, can we like? Can we try? So what do you guys dead? do? Dead? Is it dead? It's is dead. It like, oh, the horse, it is dead. Like, there's, like, no sign of it. Like, you can tell it died, like, mi like before you guys, like, it died maybe seven minutes ago. Then what, why are we trying to help the horse if it's already dead? <laughs> no, because, uh, because Vind Vindisha, dead. Vindisha rolled a 19 and noticed that this was, like, your missionary's, like, horse. So like, I know. Who, are why are we saving? To... Oh, save I don't that. Know. I don't know why you guys are sitting around the horse, so, like. Are you guys gonna try well, to? Why do we? We don't need the horse. Yeah, yeah. this is this is. I got the I got the great. Was it a great sword or a long sword? It was a long sword. Also, are you gonna give it to like Zenzen or something? He just has a spear. Yeah, I like. But I have pretty, uh, but like pretty good magic. Yeah, but I'll... like if you're encountered in a one v one situation, True. you need a you need like a reliable weapon. Oh yeah, I like. Is there blood on the long sword? Uh, well, it's like it's like oh. it's like dried. Right. So can it's I? It's just like. It's like it's gonna go soon. Okay, can I take a handkerchief and like kind of? Yeah, yeah. And then like give it to, um. Yeah, yeah. You can give it to Zenzen. Zenzen, are you gonna act grateful or are you gonna be disgusted by this? I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, both. Like I'm gonna be like, thanks. But, but like that this is disgusting. Is disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, but that's disgusting. <laughs> Okay, real quick. I just in need in guys... in Vindisha's voice. Okay, real quick. I need all you guys to roll nature. Nature. Oh. Wait. Oh no, that wasn't the thing I decided to be. Nineteen. Sixteen. Nineteen. Oh, and a sixteen. Okay. Oh, so hold on. Hold on. Wait, hold about, on. Eultron. <laughs> yeah, Eultron. I so... could have been proficient in nature, okay. and I decided. So Eultron it. just looks around and he's like, "It's just some cool leaves, different from the ones that I've been seeing." <laughs> then uh vendisha vendisha looks at the leaves and he notices these are very like he looks at the leaves and the trees and he notices these don't look real like these look artificial and um what and then um what not okay not like okay like obviously they grew but it just doesn't look like native it's like okay you know how stonehenge is like crazy Oh, because yeah, like all the yeah. rocks aren't native to the region. Yeah. These don't look these look native to the northern area, like the northern, like more dispersed tree tree land. Oh, okay. Not... So it's like if somebody took a seed yeah. from the north and planted it in this. Yeah. Okay, okay. You yeah, guys all in me so okay, so not you okay, so so Zenzen <laughs> so yeah, Zenzen and Vidisha immediately notice that these do not look native. Like these look like like they look like they're either like 
artificially made or they were purposely placed placed here for like no reason or some like crazy bad reason. Um uh Zenzin looks into it more and he starts like he feels like he can smell something and then immediately I need you guys all to roll. I need you guys all to roll perception. Oh no. I have plus five in perception. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. I'm getting such good um, I'm not I did not six. Six? Okay. Fifteen. Okay. So Eltron, you can hear like you can hear like the tree leaves and the wind and you're like, bro, this is kinda dope. <laughs> Vendisha Vendisha on the other hand can feel like he can hear rustling in the hear rustling in the bushes, but it's not like the orcs. It just it, it sounds different, but it doesn't feel like the orcs. Uh Zenzin, on the other hand, can uh he he hears something. Like he hears he hears like he hears laughing and then he hears a fire and then he hears like a like a like a fire thing and then he hears like he thinks that he can hear like a human like be screaming they're cooking him like they're screaming cooking help. help like they're... screaming help they are so, cooking our the person we were supposed to so wait, 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 how would i not why, wait how would they hear the screaming but i wouldn't if it's screaming well, like, okay, well, like, you guys it's can all hear the screaming. screaming, but, yeah, but, like, Zenzin can, like, uh, like, can, like, make it out more, uh, I and then he also can, extensive. and then, yeah, and then he also can hear the crackling noise. Yeah, can, can we go there? So, yeah, but, well, like, none of, well, like, nobody else, like, n- thinks anything of it. Are you gonna let Vindisha yeah, I'm gonna, the Ultron know? Yeah, I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna be, like, in Vindisha's voice, by the way. I'm gonna say, um, hey, guys, there's, like, um... A fire and there's like people screaming help over there. And I'm gonna like okay. point over to where so, I can. So yeah, that and happens. Quick and, major yeah. problem. Okay, and major problem. I need you guys all to remember. You have a payload to defend. So like, oh crap. So you leave that. So like you can leave that, but like you're putting your entire no, ration. We should put. Uh, effort. we should let somebody stay here. Like ain't gonna be me. It's gonna, gonna be say, Ultron. It's gonna be Ultron. Because Ultron's very strong. Yeah, he can defend so, himself. So are you guys going to? So are you guys going I to tell, travel? I want to say. Forest? I want to say to Ultron. Like I want to like gather them and say like we gotta protect protect the payload, but we can't all go to the place. So okay. I Ultron or I don't know his name. So I'm gonna Yeltron. point at him and say, "You stay here." I'm pointing at Ultron and say. And then go to Vendisha and say, "You come with me in in Vendisha's voice. You come with me to where we heard or where I heard the screaming." I'm gonna smile. Huh? I'm gonna smile. All right. Okay. So let's, let's go. So now, so now you can obviously tell. So are you guys going to travel towards the the crackling fire noises? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you guys travel to this the the crackling fire noises. It slowly gets more and more unsettling. Can you guys quickly roll um, perceptions for me again? Oh my goodness. Uh-huh. Uh, I got a 12. I got a, got a nat 20. You got a nat 20 and then you got a 12. So, so uh, Zenzin, like, Zenzin still, like, sees the rustling in the bushes and he's like, he gets, he's like on edge. But then Vendisha can, he, okay, so Vendisha looks through like he can see stuff through the bushes he can see like torches being lit and then you can you both can still hear the faint screaming of like help in every language that that missionary knows and you I can hear tell like, all missionary. the missionary yeah what yeah like you can, does i speak or like, druidic and goblin? so he's so he says it in goblin okay. uh, so he says it in goblin common uh giant and druidic and then, and, and then off, and then uh, some others that you guys just like don't understand. Oh, okay. Well, he also says it in Loxodon. Those are the only important ones that like you guys would know. I didn't put I know Loxodon because I never thought it'd be useful. Yeah. What? This is this is this is Potatoes Revenge. <laughs> potatoes Revenge. I was like, yeah, my I'm... character would definitely know Loxodon, then... but I'm not gonna put it. And then you, and then you think that you can hear, and then you hear the crackling more, like the fire crackling. And then this you think that you so... can, so, and then you think that you hear like short, you you think that you can hear like sword, swords getting sharpened. Oh my goodness! Like this metal, is... like you can tell that metal's getting sharpened. And then let's, and iron then you hear the, iron. and then you hear the noise, and then you hear him scream help, and then we cut back to Yeltsin. 
Um, so Yul I just letting you guys know, I gotta go soon, so... Yeah, this is, like, just about to end. Okay. So, Yoltron... <laughs> so, Yoltron is, like, sitting there, and he thinks that he... Uh, can you roll perception real quick? Just nah. Just kidding. <laughs> he's, he's getting nah. such bad rolls. What do you get? 18. You got an 18! Okay, okay, that's great. So, you got an 18. You can hear horses. You can hear, like... You can hear a horse, like, traveling through and then you can also hear the rustling in the bushes so um i hear the horse uh, i'm gonna stand you, up yeah you can and hear look like, out yeah for the can, horse so, and i'm gonna shout so something i'm like, gonna shout you're taller than the trees so you look I'm, on over and you what think, i'm seven nine yeah trees are not that's a small tree yes yeah they're tiny trees apparently well they're probably yeah. if they're well, from like, the well, north like, the ones near you the ones near you you like you can see through the leaves like you can like see through them and you're like looking through them and you're like you think you can see something and then you hear a goblin or you hear an orc like like you can hear an orc like three orcs running and then you hear and then you hear the and then you see the the horse like charging towards you and then you and then it stops right next to you and then, and then you see this man introduce him and in, introduce himself, and he says that he is that his name's Vilnius and he needs help. Like he's I'm just like, gonna look at him. There. Hello there, Mister. I'm gonna hand him a gold coin. <laughs> his last okay. gold coin. Let me, let me nope, I have one this. left. So what he says is. I know that's what I said. <laughs> so what he says is, "Hello there, sir. Uh, my name is Vilnius, and I am in deep trouble. I'm getting chased by three orcs. Can I get any help from you? I can pay you." I can pay you, uh, I can pay you, please. Like, I'll hand him a coin, like then pull my axe out, stand in front of the orcs, and charge at him. And that's where the session ends. I should have stayed back. Alright, do the outro, do the outro. Okay. D do the outro. Oh, the outro. Sorry, okay, yeah, okay, so, hey, thanks for watching Payload. I had a lot of fun doing End this. End of video, guys. Goodbye. Yeah.